from the Bullock County Historical Society. Corporate members Morris Bank, Dabs, Hickman Hill and Cannon, and the Lodge at Bethany are our sponsors today. Please tell these fine professionals thank you when you see them. I noticed that our tidbit on church cookbooks has had more viewers than any other tidbit. I guess we Southerners truly love good food. Two great friends have just gifted me with two more Bullock County Church cookbooks. Society member Janice Wilbank's daughter, Jill Altman, Altman Vickery, gave me enough cookbooks to either open a vintage bookstore or either a cooking shop. I would simply adore having both of these if there were only more hours in a day. Jill gave me The Cooking to Serve from the Statesboro First Baptist Church. Our longtime member, Dottie Garvin, has a recipe for cheese wafers. I have had these at many parties throughout the years, and they are delightful. My pound cake recipe is included, and it was, sub it was submitted by Dr. Catherine Lovett. Her daddy, Dr. Simmons from Metter, went deep sea fishing off the coast of Georgia with my big daddy every Wednesday for years and years. Dr. Catherine also said she must approve a bill before I could marry him. Thankfully, she really adored him. Anyway, her pound cake is tried and true, and it's the cream cheese version. I wish I had $10 for every one I've ever made. Also, the best squash casserole recipe from the kitchen of our dearly departed Miss Libba Smith is right here. Mayo and saltine crackers are the key. Ann Clifton gave me another prize collection of recipes with the gift of Window to Good Eating from the Brooklyn United Methodist Church. Her recipe for crab stew is divine. I made it yesterday. Minced carrots and nutmeg are new ingredients for me in crab stew. I'm so glad to have a recipe of my dear friend, Billy Bowler. I can't wait to try her shrimp creole. She was such a devoted member of our society, and she was a childhood friend of my Aunt Barbara Franklin Brannon. I miss Billy. Penny Sykes, Congo Swear, sound just fabulous. I have four cookbooks from schools in our county. Hot Off the Press was published in 1999 by Southeast Bullock High School yearbook staff. My sorority sister, Susan Kent Brown, must have been in charge, as many of the recipes are from her family and friends. Bill and I love brand muffins, and they're so good for you if you watch the sugar in them. Mary Ann Brown's recipe can be found here, and this batter keeps for six weeks in the refrigerator. Mary Ann is my Lane cousin from Twin City and also corporate member Lazare Oglesby from Honey's Grandmama. Another gift from Jill is that we've been cooking for 50 years from Maddie Lively School, the years 2003 and 2004. Lori Durden was included with her breakfast casserole dish. Lori is president of OTC and wife of corporate member and good friend, Tim Durden. There are two simply great cookbooks from Bullock Academy. The first one they did in 1976 called The Treasure of Bullock County Recipes. The historical illustrations in this book are priceless. Here is a turpentine still that was once located in the Hurdy Pine Forest. You will remember our tidbit on Charles Hurdy. This is near the university's entrance on Fair Road. Here is the Central of Georgia Railway Depot on East Main. I didn't know that the first floor-cured tobacco grown in Georgia was right here in Bullock County. I will definitely do some more research on this. This happened on the Belcher Farm near Brooklyn. This shows the carriage shop of J.G. Mitchell on Hill Street in 1897 they were the agent for McCormick Reapers. This book is a total, get a Kleenex ready, walk down memory lane, Honey Bowen, Edna Robbins, Doll Foy, Marguerite Bryant, Miss Sally Smith, Louise Simmons, Cousin Eloise Morris, Suzanne Brannon, 
Martha Johnston, Jane Beaver, Froggy Green, Nan Bland, Barbara Deal, and Willie Cobb, and current members Bonnie Grice, Jeannie McDougall, Joyce Lovett, Beverly Proctor, and Virginia Trapman. It is just a fabulous collection of all our friends. I just love tomato aspic. You love it or you hate it. Doll Foy had a recipe in this book. Her son-in-law, Albert Brannon, was one of those that loved it, and I made it for him many times. My recipe uses lemon jello and Campbell's tomato soup. Connie Averett's recipe for spaghetti sauce sounds very much like mine. Mr. Bill just won't do sauce out of a jar. Pat Robbins submitted a recipe for Country Captain. I haven't had this in years. The last time I had it was at a dinner party hosted by Dale and Beverly Presley. Lots of trouble, but what a treat. This cookbook has many recipes for main dishes that we use in Bullock County and many for wildlife. Lots of quail and dove recipes. There is one from Walt Strickland that's entitled The Georgia Gourmet Quail. There are five recipes for Vincent and a recipe for catfish stew and another for mull down. I do believe they're the same thing. This is one of the best Bullet County cookbooks that has been published and it's been reprinted several times. Bullock Academy did another cookbook in 2003 entitled Gator Bites. It says the yearbook staff was the sponsor. There's a delightful recipe from our member Anna Spence for hot artichoke and crab meat dip. I haven't made this in years, but it's perfect for fall weather. I also love the broccoli casserole recipe from Susan McNack. Her husband is a faithful corporate member with the Statesboro Merrill Lynch office, and her mama and daddy, Marshall and George M. Thigpen, have always been a part of my life. Again, if any of you have Bullock County cookbooks that you want to share with your historical society, please let me know. The recipes are wonderful and elicit memories of times past. The collection of friends' names included in these books is simply priceless. Thanks so much for sharing time with me.